In this video, we will be talking about what a subnet mask is, reasons for using a subnet mask, how to get binary numbers from IP address and subnet mask, methods of subnet masking, and why an IP address should have a network and host part. What is a subnet mask? Before going deep into what subnet mask is, we need to understand the concept of an IP address. An IP address is a series of numbers that identifies any device on a network. Computers use IP addresses to communicate over the internet and on other networks. In simple terms, IP addresses contain location information, making devices accessible for communication. IP addresses make the internet needs to differentiate between different computers, routers, and websites. Every device should have an IPv4 address for communication purposes. An IPv4 address is a 32-bit numeric address written as four numbers and separated by periods. An IP address consists of two parts, the network address and the host address. The network address is a number that's assigned to a network. This means that every network has a unique address. On the other hand, the host address is assigned to hosts within that network. This includes computers, tablets, servers, routers, etc. Therefore, each host should have a unique host address, and we need to know which portion of the IP address is the network or the host. This is where the subnet mask comes in. A subnet mask is a number that has a resemblance to an IP address. It reveals the number of bits in an IP address and which number is used for the network by masking the network portion of the IP address. Simply put, it's a logical subdivision of an IP network. Computers with the same subnet are addressed with an identical, most significant big group in their IP address. Subnetting in IP addresses means designating high-order bits from the host as an option in the network prefix. This method divides a network into smaller subnets, and it enables you to limit the size of the routing tables stored in routers. The subnetting method also helps you restructure the IP address and extend the existing IP address base. We are in the world of technology. Computers and networks are now prevailing. However, IP addresses and subnet masks in decimal format are meaningless. This is because computers and networks don't read them in this format because all they understand are numbers in binary format, which are ones and zeros, which are referred to as bits. Reasons for using subnetting we have various important reasons we need to use a subnet mask. It helps to maximize the efficiency of IP addressing fully. It also extends the life of IPv4. IPv4 subnetting also reduces network traffic by eliminating broadcast traffic and collision, which is a step closer to improving the overall network performance. The subnetting method also allows you to apply network security policies at the interconnection between subnets, giving you an optimized IP network performance. Having a subnet mask also facilitates a spanning of larger geographical distances. Subnetting processes help to locate IP addresses that prevent large number of IP network addresses from remaining unused. They are usually set up geographically for specific offices and particular teams within a business that allows their network traffic to stay within the location. How to get binary numbers from IP addresses and subnet mask? For example, in an 8-bit octet chart, the bits in each octet are represented by a number. So, the first bit has a value of 1, and then the number doubled with each step. So there's 2, then 4, 8, and so on, all the way up to 128. Each bit in the octet can either be a 1 or a 0. If the number is a 1, 
then it represents counts. If the number is a zero, the number it represents does not count. By manipulating the ones and zeros in the octet, you can create a number range from zero to 255. Methods of subnet masking. Subnet masking can be executed in two different ways. They are one, straight. You should use the binary notation method for both the mask and the address. You then apply the AND operation to get the block address. Two, shortcut method. If the byte in the mask is 255, you need to copy the byte to the destination address. When the byte in the mask is zero, then you need to replace the byte in the address with zero. When the byte in the mask is neither 255 nor zero, you will write the mask and the address in binary. After that, you then use the AND operation. This is if the extracted network address matches the local network ID and the destination is located on the local network. Contrarily, if they do not match, the message must be routed outside the local network. Why does an IP address have a network and a host part? The major reason for this is manageability. This means it is for breaking down a large network into smaller networks or subnetworks, which is known as subnetting. If there are no small networks and an organization has a large number of computers in one huge network, when a computer wants to talk to another computer, it needs to know how and where to reach that computer. And it does this by using a broadcast when a computer sends out data to all computers on a network for it to locate and talk to a particular computer. For example, suppose a computer wants to communicate to another computer. In that case, the main computer sends out a broadcast out on the network, asking the target computer to identify itself so it can communicate with it. The problem, however, is that every computer on this network will also receive the broadcast since they are on the same network. If every computer on a large network is broadcasting to other computers for communication, the system will keep slowing down the network. The network needs to be broken down into smaller networks to prevent this from happening. This is why an IP address should have a network and a host part. 